Where does the name Phaser Days come from? Um, it just came from, I was just brainstorming um, band names or pseudonyms for the project. I, I didn't want to use my own name, um, I think because I wanted some separation from it. Um, and I kind of just played around with words and then I came across Phaser Days and I was like, that feels very right and I like sent a text to my boyfriend with the with the name Phaser Days and he was like what's that that sounds cool and I was like it's my new project and that's how I got got the name. If we go back a few years you recorded your EP mm -hmm. and then your album in your basically your bedroom studio right? Yeah. What was that experience like? Um well I suppose at the time it sometimes doesn't even feel real when I'm just making these recordings in my bedroom and then to look back on that and to see where it's come to is kind of validating because all those hours and Friday nights I spent working on stuff um, has actually eventuated to something and that's, that's really exciting. Because how do you even begin to achieve something like that from something kind of, you know, so small and... Yeah. What it's turned into. Yeah. Well, I mean, the internet has been amazing. Like, I've managed to get my own following just from, um, yeah, putting my music up online and people discovering it. Mm. And now, obviously, look at where you are. You're doing these amazing tours in America and Europe and through Asia. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to have kind of started from something like that and then to have grown into this big thing worldwide? Uh, it's pretty daunting, but it's. It's, it's really exciting, it's like, um, it's crazy to actually watch my dreams come true um, and in a way that's quite self-empowering because I didn't, um, didn't have any record labels to begin with and I didn't have any uh, management and um, PR or anything, it's sort of um, happened quite organically and then the record labels have kind of come after that, so yeah. What's, or where's been your favourite place that you've been on tour so far, would you say? Um, I think playing in Japan was really cool. I just uh, really enjoyed the culture there and um, uh, I was quite surprised at how many people, like we sold out two shows in Tokyo, which was crazy and that was my first time there. And it's just sort of, um, I'd always wanted to go to Japan and then to go to Japan with my music was very cool. Is there anything about New Zealand that you really miss while you're away touring? Yeah, um, I really miss the people and um, I mean I really identify as a New Zealander and when I go overseas and there are New Zealanders at the show it feels like they're instant friends. Like, um, Yeah, and then also the coffee's really good here. You miss that when you go overseas. <laughs>